Hi, this is Bupina Tube, another tutorial on Excel. In this tutorial, I want to teach you how to pass arguments. Arguments can be passed either by value or by reference. And VBA has some very strict rules on what you can and what you can't do. So I've already written this code now. This is a follow up from my previous tutorial on creating a combo box. As you can see, I've created this button with the combo box. If you haven't watched that tutorial, please go in the playlist of my VBA Excel tutorials and you'll find that there. But in this episode, I would like to show you how to pass arguments. First, we create a sub a routine. I call that selected name and in there, I have two arguments. One I define it by reference by using the keyword by reference and calling it name and its type is string. Another one I call it constant name and it's also string type. So we get these two values and then we assign them to two different cells. So if I go to Excel these two cells should be populated by those two values. So I put a knob here so that we could follow the code as we activate it. So press the button 2. Then we show the user form. This fills the combo box as I explained in my previous tutorial. Now we can select a name. We select the first name for the, this example and we say OK. So th this is where the code is. Here. I have defined a constant name. So you need to pay attention to this keyword const that makes this value constant. That means you can't change this anymore. And you have to assign its value right after you defined it. So you need to say it's equal to whatever you want. So in this example, I put the constant name to be booping the tube no matter what. But at the same time, I got a variable which is populated by the combo box selection. So Michael is the one I have selected. So combo box text would be Michael and the constant would be booping the tube. And in order to call our routine that we defined in module one, you need to write module one dot selected name. That's the name of the sub routine. And we fill the arguments by, there are two arguments. One is by reference, which is the value from the combo box. And the second one is the constant value. So let's proceed to the next step of the code by pressing F8. And you can see this in action. So you have selected Michael Tom, that's okay. And now we are into this line of the code. Press F8, and as you can see, it has called our selected name subroutine, and it's now taking the two arguments. The name Michael Tom is assigned to B12, and the constant name Bupinder Tube is assigned to B13. Something that you need to really pay attention here is. If you don't specify whether it's by value or by reference, by default, it would be classed as by value. So in order to make it by reference, you need to type by reference. And if you don't do that, you will face errors. So pay attention to the details here. For example, if I would remove by reference, I would not be able to call this code anymore because combo box value is a by reference value it's not by by value value <laughs> because it changes so if i just continue i cannot close this you can see b12 and b13 are filled one is by value and by and one is by reference as simple as that i also would upload this example into the cloud so you could download it and see it in action yourself. Please don't forget to watch my full tutorial on Excel VBA to fully understand. I'm building on 
my previous tutorial so if you have missed the previous one go and watch the other one and hopefully we can get to the stage that you will be able to create any application you want as you start building up your repertoire of functions that you know please don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video thanks for watching bye bye